Okay, we're uh, doing the boat circle on top of the uh, crankcase. It's a uh, two inch boat, boat circle. And we're actually working on the hole number three right now. So that uh, completes the bolt circle. Uh, I'm going to tap these by hand. Not that, that big a deal. It's 1032. Uh, and now we're going to uh, drill out the uh, the center, which I'm going to have to get back on here. Okay, have to center find it again. So we've uh, zeroed on this edge here. In my drawing, I've uh, got the center located, so we're ready to go with that. Uh, I already got a hole in there. Should have went ahead and drilled it out. And we start drilling.
half inch. Let's take it down some more. Set that aside because it needs to be sharpened. So we'll uh, get bigger drills now. Silver dimming drills may be a little bit dull to it. Need to take some time and sharpen them all. All right. Go up to seven eighths. SD card in my GoPro here filled up and I uh, had to go chain or uh, download some some of the uh, footage and uh, clear it out so I'd have room to to uh, record more. It's amazing uh, how much uh, memory we have. This is a 32 gig uh, SD card and it reminded me of back in the 80s, I worked for Apple Computer, and uh, Apple designed and built, and I played a little part in that, but uh, anyway, they designed and built the first uh, hard drive for a personal computer. It was an external drive, and it was actually for the Apple III, uh, and the uh, hard drive was five megabits uh, that was it and today we have you know uh, 
for under hundred dollars, you can buy five terabits. And I had one of those on my desk and and at home. And uh, uh, of course, we didn't have all the uh, the video and uh, stuff that we have today, but uh, it was mostly word processing and uh, VisiCalc. If uh, you guys are old enough to remember that, and it was. Uh, prior to Excel. And uh, anyway, that's a story that I wanted to share with you. And so we're going to continue boring this hole here. One of my favorite tools in my uh, toolbox is this little Sterrett uh, tap wrench. I should have tightened it down a little further. But it's, uh, it's really sweet. I've had a lot of the Chinese made pieces of junk. This thing makes uh, tapping, hand tapping a pleasure. It's just got a good feel to it. Yeah, that uh, is telling the story of the uh, Apple uh, hard disk. Uh, as soon as it came out, uh, five megabytes wasn't enough. So they doubled it and went to 10 megabytes. And I'm not sure, but uh, uh, it stayed that way at least uh, for a couple of years, and I, I don't, I may have lost track of it after that, but uh, uh, you know, that during that same time, uh, Apple actually developed the little three and a half inch floppy. And that was done in conjunction with Sony in Japan. And uh, it was originally slated for the Mac, but there was a computer called Lisa. And it was a very expensive, it was supposed to be for business. It was very expensive, uh, had a lot of problems. And they uh, first developed a one megabyte floppy for the uh, for the Lisa but it had so many problems that they soon went to the little three and a half inch floppy uh, that uh, see, I think I've done that one. Uh, three and a half inch floppy uh, that Mac was going to use and they put that on the Lisa and of course, the Mac came out. It had the three and a half inch floppy drive in the front, and uh, their first Mac uh, Mac uh, had a internal uh, memory of 128k. Steve Jobs wanted it to be 64k, but all of us engineers argued with him and. Uh, he allowed it to be 128 and as soon as uh, as soon as that came out <laughs> everybody decided it needed more memory and uh, Steve relented and it went to 256k and very shortly after it was released so there's a little stories about the Apple computer. I was employee number 555 with Apple, so that's uh, that's um, 
I don't know all these stories. Uh, I started in June of 1980 and worked uh, in the Carrollton Manufacturing Facility as the uh, test and production engineering manager uh, until 19, January of 1985. I left and started my own company. And uh, I, I enjoyed working for Apple. Went back in 93 as a consultant and uh, worked about uh, three months up in Fountain, Colorado, by Colorado Springs designing a new low-cost notebook, which never got produced, but uh, anyway, it's fun designing. So, that's the tapping. Thanks for watching. Okay, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm uh, cutting a hex on these uh, socket head cap screws and uh, the reason I'm doing that, you'll see for later, it also makes the uh, model more uh, accurate. But I've got a hex uh, 5C collet block here, put it in the vise on the flat and I've uh, lined it up where it's just right on the edge of the bottom here. And I've got my uh, mill set uh, to uh, run across there and cut. I'm cutting about 20 thousandths deep and uh, that makes a nice hex on it. Rotate it. One flat. Rinse and repeat. There you have it. Okay, I've got the uh, macro lens on the uh, GoPro here now. So you can see the uh, little uh, socket head cap screws that I cut the hex on. And you can see why I needed to do that is uh, because there's uh, no way to tighten it. If you uh, you can't get the uh, X key in there, so I'm cutting a little hex on it here, you can put these in and tighten them up. Let me get it uh, down tight here. Now I could have. Uh, Cut these to exact size uh, by figuring out the, uh, the geometry on it, which uh, I actually did on AutoCAD. And so the 20 thousandths got me close to a standard size, but really don't care. I don't have that size wrench anyway, so uh, we use the uh, Mexican socket set here. go that's the first of six in there so that's the uh, crankcase of the engine Got a little stringy 
and there, uh, crankcase of the engine, backside, just hogged out in there. This is the uh, air cooled uh, cylinder, cylinder sleeves installed. So uh, we have the uh, back that actually fits on here like this. I need to get the proper size uh, screws, and I'm going to do them the same way as I did this. Uh, so it looks the same. So uh, we'll be working on that. But uh, that's the uh, that's the crankcase and the cylinder uh, uh, of this uh, engine.